How's it going, everyone? This is Mitchell Mander, and welcome to the final impression video that I have for the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. And guys, I actually cried in this episode, actually several times, especially at the end. This is the best ending of any Pokemon series to date. And it, I'm just going to say right now, this episode was a 10 out of 10. I was not sure how this episode would go when I saw the previews, but I knew that this was going to be an emotional one. But, oh, man. It was just such a fantastic ending. So, where do I begin? There's just so much great stuff in this episode. For example, the episode starts off with Lily announcing to her friends that she's leaving Alola. Well before she shows off that Magirna is awakened and basically is pointing towards Moen. And she knows, where Magirna knows where to go. So Lily, Lucimine, and Gladion have decided to leave Alola in pursuit of Moen. So, um, that is a, a bit of a shock to everyone. And while that is going on, Team Rocket also gets a message from headquarters and basically they are told to go back. And I know this was alluded to in a previous episode, but they don't want to take Mimikyu and Marini with them. Just because if they go to headquarters, they're just going to get lost in the shuffle. And they're not going to, you know, like it. So they do the right thing, and they let Marini and Mimikyu stay in Alola. But this definitely has a big effect on Mimikyu. As later, or a little bit later on, Ash is walking on the beach, looking at the Alolan sunset, and runs into Mimikyu who tries to attack Pikachu. But it goes into the ocean and it kind of gives up because it's just depressed because it knows that Team Rocket's not going to be there anymore. And the moment with Meowth and Mimikyu was fantastic where Meowth was basically comforting Mimikyu. And basically uh, everything about it was actually really good. Like, I, I wasn't sure how Team Rocket was going to be handled in this episode. I was actually afraid that it was just going to be, you know, oh, we're leaving because of plot. But the way they did it in this episode was just fantastic. And Marini wouldn't understand. Like, even though James tried to tell Marini that they had to go back and they wouldn't be going, he ended up, you know, they ended up having to leave while she was asleep. And the moment with Beware, Beware just knows that it's, their time to leave and I just love the moment where Beware hugs Team Rocket it was just a oh man just a fantastic moment and I'm not gonna lie this Team Rocket and Sun and Moon is the best they've ever been I don't know how the next series is gonna top this it's definitely gonna be a hard one for the next series to live up to but I just thought it was funny how Beware knew where Kanto was cuz Beware went to Kanto once before and basically just threw just launched Team Rocket right into Kanto, and they're blasting off again. <laughs> but anyways, um, going back to our gang, um, Ash actually runs into Sokaleo and ends up going on an adventure overnight, which leads to the next day where Mallow throws on an Alolan surprise party for Lily as she's as a going away party. Now, I like the fact that the characters get worried because they feel like, you know, they think that Lily's going to be gone forever, but she ensures them that they're coming back. But on the, Ash, on the other hand, is leaving permanently. So I like how Ash shows up with Solgaleo, and you find out a few things. Not only did he go on this adventure with Solgaleo, but Rotom took some pictures and now is going to be working for the Aether Paradise. Which, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty interesting. I thought Rotom would just go with Ash, but... <laughs> This was a nice little twist. But that moment when Ash tells them that his friends that he's actually going to be leaving for Palatown and he's going to be going around the world. I was not sure exactly how I felt about this scene at first, but they actually, I think they handled this perfectly. As the characters realize, you know, now with Lily, she's coming back, but with Ash, he's probably not coming back. He might come back to visit, but he's not going to be living there permanently. So, yeah, it's a... Uh, it was very well done. Then, we get to the very first farewell scene of the episode with Lily, Lucimine, and Gladion leaving. And I like this moment a lot. 
And I like the fact that Brotom took one last picture of the group. And I like how Gladion acknowledges Ash. And they want to battle again. Of course, Ash always wants to battle his rivals again, even though he may never see them again. But the one thing I find interesting here is that it seems like Lily wants to say something to Ash. It seems like she feels something, because uh, <laughs> when she gets on the boat, she runs back, she remembers all the stuff that Ash has done for her, and uh, she, her, but she says that Ash is very reminiscent of what Serena said to Ash when she left, just minus the kiss. So I guess we have two girls crushing on Ash confirmed? <laughs> But anyways, this was a, a an amazing moment, and I really wish they would do a special episode. I think I think we can all agree out there that Lily deserves a special episode, especially with this ending. Just please, OLM, give us a special episode with this girl. We just need a resolution with the Moan situation. Though I think the next series might resolve it. Kind of like with Team Rocket. Like Team Rocket was saying that they'll probably be back in Alola to visit them. So, most likely when Ash and company come to Alola, they'll be able to maybe resolve some pro plot lines, maybe? I guess we will see. But then, we have Ash's goodbye, in which Kukui and Burnett take Ash early in the morning to get on the plane to Kanto. And I will not li I'm not gonna lie, guys. I teared up big time at this moment. This, this farewell was one of the hardest farewells to see in the anime just because Professor Kukui and Burnett were like Ash's real parents and it's kind of just reminiscent of you know when a you know a child leaves home and they maybe go away for a long time it's kind of reminiscent of that and I just think this was handled so beautifully especially with Burnett's reaction to all this and just seeing her just tear up like a mother would tear up with her their child going away for a long time it was just handled so beautifully and then to top it all off, when Ash is on the plane going home, well, I guess I should say before, <laughs> before we get to that, another thing to note is that Ash left all his Pokemon with Professor Bur or Professor Kukui and Burnett, Incineroar, Rowlet, Melmetal, <clears throat> Lycanroc, they're all staying with Kukui, and it's, you know, I'm actually fine with this, it's kind of like, you know, being at Professor Oak's lab, but this time they're with Kukui, so... You know, I have a feeling that the next series, when they re revisit Lola, we might be seeing these Pokemon make a return. So I'm actually fine with this decision. But I like the little moment when all the other characters, and they're in their Ultra Guardians um, outfits, they end up, you know, giving an, an additional Alolan surprise to Ash, who tears up when seeing this. And all his Pokemon are with him, too, including Melmetal, who's got a jetpack, and yet, Melmetal is officially unstoppable, confirmed. But yeah. I, man, I teared up here, too, as well, so. And just when I thought, you know, I couldn't get, to, you know, I could cry anymore in this episode, we have the ending montage where basically all the characters go off to do their goals. Sophocles goes off to Moss Deep City. Kiawe goes to train and work with Olivia. Lana goes with her father to get the Manaphy data. And then we have Mallow who's left over, and I was a little bit upset because I didn't like the fact that Mallow was the only one that's staying behind. But I actually think this may have been for the best because of this scene, where her brother shows up, and he's got one of the flowers that was seen in the Mallow's the episode where Mallow met her dead mother. And then that's when we realize, you know, shame and you know with its gratitude, it's you know basically. Uh, reached uh <laughs> it's it's reached at that point where it finally changes into its sky form and it finally leaves mallow and that was such a beautiful moment as well <laughs> and just when i thought i was just you know already like okay this episode this ending is already fantastic enough we get professor kukui and burnett with the reveal that professor burnett is pregnant and this was something I've been wanting for a long time, but oh my gosh, this was fantastic. I cannot believe they did it. I did not think they would do this, but Sun and Moon went and done it. <laughs> they fulfilled what I wanted to happen with Professor Kukui and Burnett at the end of this anime. Oh man, hopefully the baby's born when Ash revisits Alola. So, um, yeah, that that's it. I mean... This is an easy 10 out of 10 episode, and man, Sun and Moon just keeps delivering 10 out of 10s lately. It's hard to pick my favorite episode now, because it's just like, they keep coming up with 
an episode that will top the one before it. But uh, yeah, this was uh, one of the best episodes of Sun and Moon, and one of the best ending. It's probably the best ending by far in the Pokemon anime. Yeah. So, anyways, um, guys, what are your thoughts on this episode? Did you love it like I did? Was it you know very emotional for you? Just please give me your thoughts. I really want to hear what everyone has to say about the ending of Sun and Moon. And let's. I wish you know. I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of um. <laughs> I'm kind of rambling now. So anyways, hashtag thank you, Sun and Moon. What a perfect ending. All right, guys. And that's it for the Pokemon Sun and Moon impression videos. I want to thank everybody that subscribed to the channel ever since I started doing these. And it's been a blast making these. So I will be covering the upcoming Pokemon series in the future. So be sure to stay tuned. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I will talk to you all later. Have a good night, everyone.